All right, so the assignment here was not just to find x, y, and z. It was to write an equation that if you solved it, would give you the correct answer. It would give you 61, 135, or 77. So let's start with this one. What's an equation that you can write that involves the variable x, right? It's a variable. So if you solved it, you would solve it and find 61 is what x is worth. 62 plus 57, wait, degrees, no. and then plus x equals 61. 61? 61. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Like, I got confused. Okay. okay. Do you agree with that? Is that true? Yep. The true equation? Yeah? Not asking to see if, you know, does it give us x? doesn't say that x is 61, but it's an equation that's true that involves x. So x, if we solve for it, should be 61. Anybody have a different looking equation? I'm really surprised that everybody wrote the, this equation exactly that way. This was the statistic. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. My brother had me do it a different way I forgot about. I lost the question. You added all three and got 180. Yeah. Okay, well, or the way I did is like added 62 plus 57, so then I got, I think it was like 119, okay. something like that. And so I like, oh, I forgot. It sounds right. like so, you, so, did you write an equation or did you just figure out what x was? I wrote an equation okay. and I figured what x was. Can't remember the equation that you wrote. No. Okay. Um, how about this equation? 180 minus 57 minus 62 equals x. Does that work? Mm -hmm. How about 180 minus parentheses 57 plus 62 equals x? that work? Yeah. Let's put that somewhere I'll take it. Uh, so all these will work. We could write lots of different equations, some of which would seem like kind of nonsense. Okay. These ones kind of make sense. They're, if I add them up, I get 180. If I take 180 and subtract the other angles, I should wind up with x. If I add the two angles up and then subtract the total from 180, that should give me x. Yes? Oh, that. Okay, so if you use parentheses, do the order of operations uh, in that order. Add them up first and then subtract the total from 180. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about this So, if we look at the book, which I did, it has a starting with solving equations, which I think probably you guys can handle, but there's also these topics that need some work, so we're going to work on those, all right? Uh, so if you're going to pass out this worksheet, it's most likely going to be what we do today, all right? That's what we're going to work on. I'm going to come around and check on you as you guys work on it. I want you to please be respectful of what we're here to do. What are we here to do? Work. Learn math. Okay, nobody said tell jokes and make people laugh and those kinds of things, right? It's not our goal. Let's act like our goal is to be here to learn some math. Right? Okay, let's take number one, pretty straightforward example. Okay, when I say that x is 9, I want you to evaluate it. Just means plug 9 in for x, replace x with 9, and Proceed. So we have negative 3. I like to put a parenthesis there. Okay. So 
when I see a number next to a parenthesis, I remember it being so that I want to do what with these two numbers? Multiply them. Multiply them. Okay. So now we just need to decide what to do first. How do we decide which to do first? Order of operations. So which, do, which should we do first? Multiply. Okay, now 3 times 9 is in parentheses, 3 times 9 is, is multiplying. Are we all so good that we don't need to? Open up. Parenthesis, the parentheses part of it is inside parentheses. Listen, uh, there's nothing to do, right? It's nine. So what you're doing is actually not the p part. There's nothing there. You're going on to multiply, which is correct. There's nothing to do inside the parentheses. There's nothing to add. There's nothing to multiply. Nothing to do. Anything. So we'll move on to multiplying first. Should we stay into lunch so we can have the amount of time that we would have had if we weren't talking and wasting time? Okay, let's not do that. Okay, now, what is negative three times nine? Colby? Four or negative five, seven. Plus six times nine? Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Okay, now why is a negative times a positive a negative? Because the negative comes first, I guess. No. What if it comes second? What if it's nine times negative three? Then is it a positive? No, sure. <laughs> it's still a negative. Okay. You know why negative times positive is negative? Because you need the negative to minus it. You need the negative to minus it? It's like saying minus this number. Okay? So if we're going to subtract this 3 times 9 number, then I guess we need a 27 that is being subtracted. That makes sense. Okay? Anybody have another explanation of why a negative times a positive is a negative? Because the 9 is bigger than the 3. So whichever number is bigger, then you take the sign of the smaller one? <laughs> okay. We've got one minute. Let me show you quickly. First, let's talk about what three times four means. Stop. Stop moving. Stop backing up. Look up here. Three times four. Multiplication is addition. So what do I mean by multiplication is addition? You Another? add the bigger number. You add it the times that the other number is. So three times four is four plus four plus four. Kind of. Okay. Is it also three plus three plus three plus three? Yeah. 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 Both of those. Okay. So take this and add it up this many times. No, yeah. I'm not saying zip up. I'm not saying to do anything right now. Okay. Here is negative 3 times 9. I will keep you after if I need to. Negative 3 times 9. I want to add this many of these. Right? So if I add a negative 3 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 3 plus a negative 3, and I do that for 9 threes, what kind of number will I have? Plus a negative positive. Positive. Negative. Negative. Positive. 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 Right? I'll start at negative three, then I'll go back another negative three, then another negative three, negative negative three. Right. If I add a negative number to itself a bunch of times, I get a negative number. Goodbye. Have a good day. What about these things?